Members and formal members of parliament, ambassador to Singapore, ladies and gentlemen, China Knowledge is very pleased and honored to exhibit and publish Mr. Lee Kun Choi's artwork. This is our second exhibition. The first one was held in Beijing at the People's Political Conference Hall, Zhenxie Li Tang. It was unheard of for an artist to exhibit in such a venue. It was attended by many foreign ambassadors to China, uh, artists, and the media. I had the opportunity to work with Mr. Li Kun Choi on a book called Passage to China in year 2007. It was through our very intimate moments of sharing his stories and interests that I, that I learned Mr. Li is a prolific and extraordinary painter. I even hear him play Gu Zheng violin, and even sing karaoke. Personally, I think it is his broad knowledge and sensitivity to arts, culture, and history that make him a very successful diplomat, ambassador, and senior minister during your active years in politics. There's, there was one very interesting incident that inspired me to come up with a TV documentary, and that took place in National Museum some a year ago and we have cameraman flipping. There was something goes like that and he said, if every HTV household could buy a painting, Singapore could provide a very strong support for local artists. China Knowledge is very fortunate to have film documented and we are going to produce a TV documentary on Li Kun Chuan, uh, Arts. And we hope this program could, could showcase one of Singapore's very unique form of art by Mr. Lee Kun Choi. And one last thing uh, I'd like to share with the audience here today. Uh, some of you may have known that Mr. Lee had donated 10 paintings worth 15 million RMB, or equivalent to 3.3 million Sing dollar, to a charity organization in China. And that won him an award from the uh, International Science and Peace Academy. Now, please allow me to introduce you, Mr. Lee Kun Choi himself, to share with you his many years as an artist. Welcome, Mr. Lee. Mr. President, Excellencies, my old colleagues, and friends from Brother High, <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> First of all, I'd like to thank President Norden for taking time off to grace this occasion despite his heavy schedule. <coughs> the exhibition in Beijing showed wonders of the world concentrated on wonders of the world, human-made, built by human civilization. This exhibition shows wonders of the world by nature, by God. 
I call it eternal pillars because it is forever there. I have been very fond of since I was very young <coughs> because I come from Penang where I see the Penang Hill every day when I go from work to work to Penang. <coughs> so I love mountains. My profession gave me a lot of opportunity to see various mountains of the world as a journalist, as a politician, diplomat and businessman. <coughs> when I, whenever I travel either on polit political meetings or business, I always make it a point to tell my guy, take me to the nearest mountain. I want to see a mountain. <coughs> That's why I had the opportunity to see so many mountains. <coughs> Today's exhibition is my impression of the mountains of various countries. <coughs> well, whenever I see a mountain, I always like to sketch it and paint it so that it has been, my impression will go permanently in the painting, in the form of painting. So that near me, I always get inspiration from the mountains. Painting has become part of my life. So enjoy your show and please give your comment. Thank you. an appropriate painting to open with. It is Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. And as you may know, there's a Singapore women's expedition uh, going to uh, the mountain right now. Luckily for us, we can enjoy it right here in the comfort of the National Library. And now, Mr. Lee would like This is a painting of Angkor Wat on moonlight night. Most artists go and paint in daytime, but I, 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 I went there on one moonlight night in 1963 <coughs> when I went to Cambodia to invite Prince Shihanouk's children to, to dance in Southeast Asian Cultural Festival. So I took the opportunity to go to Angkor Wat and paint there. <coughs> I would like to present this painting to President Nathan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Thank you very much, Dr. Varapasa. Thank you very much, Ms. Lee.